guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a frosted glass effect in Photoshop. So you can do this in any canvas size, I'm just going to choose A4. Now uh, unlock this layer. So what you're going to want to do is bring in your image. Okay, so I've now brought in a design that I made earlier. There we go, you can just delete the layer below it. So now let's add the effect. So what you're going to want to do is Control J on the keyboard. Uh, if you're on Mac, I think it's Command J. Once you've done that, we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. Now, this is how fuzzy or blurry the glass will be. I'm going to make it about this level, and then we're going to click OK. So once you've done that, we're now going to create a shape. The shape is going to be where the actual frosted glass will be. So I'm going to create it here. I'm just going to drag the uh, box like this. It doesn't matter what color the box is because we're going to change the color anyway. So now you've got your shape. We're going to go to here. Hold down control or command if you're on Mac. And then click this rectangle here. Now it should be selected. And then you're going to go here. Click that. And when you move it away, as you can see, there's a glass effect. So we can now delete that rectangle and we're now going to add some effects to kind of bring it out because it does fade in with the design a bit too much. So we're going to right click it, convert to smart object, rasterize the layer, then we're going to go to blending options. So over here we're going to create an inner glow. As you can see it already is looking way better than before. So you can just play around with this, um, get the effect you like. And you can also add things like an outer glow, uh, however I'm not going to do that. So once you've done that, just click OK. And there you go, that's the frosted glass effect in Photoshop.